Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. Today's video is a bit different. Uh, I'm going to show you what I saw as stitches. It's the booth that Woe from Woe Embossing Powders was um, displaying there. So I'm going to show you all the products that they have because there are a lot of them and you can compare them and see how they shine. I decided to make a video rather than pictures so you can actually see and appreciate all the colors, shades and shine and sparkle that they have. And they have uh, many, many different ones. They are gorgeous. So apart from that, what I want to um, share with you as well is the demo, well, two demos that actually um, Marion Emerson from WoW shared with us on how to use embossing powders in a different way. Apart from using it in the normal way, which is stamping with Bursa Mark ink and then putting the powder through and emboss it, you can do many other things like you will see now creating your own enamel dots, which I already shown in a video because I was just applying the technique that Marion is going to show us today and also using it to cover a piece of chipboard and create like a marble effect, very shiny, lot of sparkle, very very nice. So well, apart from embossing powders, regular ones, they also have embossing glitter as the ones that you can see here, so a lot of shine and you will be able to, well, basically apply that shine of glitter with just an embossing tool and fix it there, no need for glue. But then if you actually like to see um, glitter and you like even more shine and bigger um, drops, let's say, then they also have glitter. They call it sparkles and it really, really shines. You're going to see that later in the other um, images that I'm going to share. Feel free to pause the video because I'm making sure that all the names come through the screen so you just, if you like one powder and you want to see which one it is just pause it and it will be underneath if for whatever reason you're missing it, let me know because maybe I have the pictures and I can try to retrieve it and actually I have a catalog from them so I may be able to tell you, yeah, this is that one, okay? so just have a look at them, they have many, many <laughs> embossing powders and it's not only the regular ones, they for instance also have one that it's glow in the dark so I'm looking forward to use that one. I bought it last year and for Halloween I think it's gonna be great. And the one that it's now on screen, that Parisa, it's super beautiful. It seems like a mix between, I don't know, platinum and gold. And it has all those, um, well, that texture that it gives. I like it very much. And also that verdigris one, I think it's going to be one of my favorites. While talking to Marion at Stitches, I think she mentions uh, later in the video that we're going to see, but just in case that she doesn't, I'm going to explain you a feature of these uh, WoW embossing powders, which is, I think, very important. And I don't know if uh, many people know about it, but I think it's good to know. The actual jars, they are static free. So basically, if the powder that it's put there, it's supposed to not have any electricity whatsoever. So basically, you know that you have these anti-static pads that you need to use so then, well, the powder doesn't get stick all over the place. Well, with wool embossing powders, because they are stored on those containers which are static free, if you keep them there, they shouldn't get any electricity so they shouldn't stick everywhere. So that's a very good feature that they have and they really take care to actually achieve that. But not many people know about it. Maybe they've noticed that for whatever reason the powders seem more, I don't know, more heavy and that they actually stick to where they should. So um, that could be the reason because actually the container itself is for static free. And so they really don't recommend you to actually, you know, some people move uh, the powder from that little container, little jar that they come into another plastic container. If you do that, then definitely you're not gonna get that feature. So it's better to just move away from moving your powder into a different container, just use the one provided and it would be great. And as you can see here, we can also see all the metallic ranch and the clear embossing powders that they have. So, well, many to choose from. And I think that for now we finish with the embossing powders. I think this is the last bit of them. And then I'm going to show you just a little glimpse of the glitter. So you can see what I'm talking about when they call it sparkles is for something, isn't it? Look at that. They are so shiny. I don't consider myself a fan of glitter, but really after seeing these, it's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how can you not like it? And yeah, oh gosh, that's the name for that one. I mean, 
They couldn't have chosen a better name, isn't it? They are really, really shiny. Do you know that glitter that it's based on glass, like glass crushed glitter or something like that? I used it in the past to create um, one video with the stars. Well, there it was about glitters basically and glittery things. So I used those, but those are real glass. I mean, you can cut yourself. However, these are real glitter. I mean, it's plastic, but it's amazing. Can you see those two, the celebration and ballet shoes? They're impressive. The, the big chunks of glitter, they are so heavy that they really, really shine. Or you have smaller um, pieces like on all that jazz or coral beach. And the colors are beautiful. I really can see myself using them. Even if I'm not that a glitter lover, these are great. Okay, so not many more. I think it's the last row of glitter. And, and then we will move on to see how Marion Emerson really uses these as well without any need of any glue, just to add some shine and sparkle in a different project. So this is how the booth looks like and all the products they had and Marion is there. I'll leave you with her. So fill it all up. But what you what I was trying to say was you, you need to think about um, your colours. So in the brochure we actually say whether they're translucent, opaque, marbling, because that makes a difference. Okay. I am trying to get them to put a little T, M or O that would be good. on, yeah, on that here. Would be good. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because that does make a real yeah. big difference it's a bit like to your paper finish. Paper. Yeah, it's so yeah. easy to yeah. think, oh, it's yeah, translucent. Absolutely. You haven't got to think about it. So yeah. So if I was at home I would <laughs> pop not stick that there and then this is just baking paper mm -hmm. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna place that oh, good idea. on there this all come about I was doing I was making that mm -hmm. the MDF mm -hmm. so I knew I couldn't heat from underneath yep. I didn't want to put ink on there because then that would define how much Where and I wanted going. to do yep. just little tiny yeah. bits yep. mm -hmm. so I got myself some wax paper mm -hmm. and it done the job yeah. but wax paper left a residue oh, okay. oh, and right. I thought I've never used it in yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cook at all. <laughs> I was like, I've got some baking paper. I think I bought it once to show off in a supermarket. <laughs> I like vegetables and baking paper. <laughs> and I actually used my baking paper and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> So then that's where this idea came from. I thought, right, again, it's chipboard. I can't really walk from underneath. No. So yep. I'll do it like that. So the idea is you want to heat it all through. Okay, and you can see where it's starting to yeah. melt. Yeah. Mold into one another. Yeah. Okay, we go quite close. It doesn't matter if you burn no. this paper. No. It really doesn't. As long as it don't burn flakes. Well, then the fireman will die. Yeah. Well, oh, actually, do it. Do Sorry, it. fireman. <laughs> Do you know what? One of my friends is a fireman, and it's so funny. Like in uniform, you can floor. Out of uniform, it's not the same. It's like Shrek. Sorry, Warren. It's like you're no oil painter. Anyway, I digress. So I get on the fireman now. Okay, so then what I want to do. So when you think about it, it has thick powder on there. Yeah. Doing it this way, we're just melting the top part of yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So then we've got powder underneath, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay. yeah? So to get that molten and to adhere to the chip ball, yeah. I'm just pushing oh, okay. into this. Okay. I don't hold it down for too no, long no. because then yeah. that's just gonna overheat this. Yeah. Yeah. And the nice thing about this, if it doesn't work first yeah. time, you just lay it back down and do it again. Yeah. And the little trick here, you want to lift it and then put the heat on it uh, so to it start lifting. Oh, right. yeah. 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 Well. Mm. So just lift there. I could actually take that now and do yeah. another little bit there if I want. There's a bit more colour yeah. there. So you can sort of shift the colour around. You can move it around, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And this is where I end up flipping it. I go like that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't flip. That's yeah. all right. These little bits I'll just pick off. I'll just let it cool yeah. just yeah. a uh -huh. little yeah. bit. Yeah. And this has come out a bit because I squidged it yeah. quite a lot. Mm -hmm. but the nice thing is this mm -hmm. releases straight on a canvas. 
<laughs> well, uh, that is where I've done it on there. Is yeah, it? Canvas oh, there, okay. yeah. 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 But also, I die cut. You die cut it from yeah. it. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you die cut, use yeah. yeah. wax paper. If I do solid ones, like, yep. this is the back side. Yep. I'll take that off. So back side is matte, oh, front side is shiny. Oh my God. So I use the back side there to get like a matte effect. Yeah. And, and back side on a, a solid shape is fine. Yeah. Well, not back side, any side know, on yeah. a solid shape yeah. is fine. Um, but doing this, because of how fine yep. all this is, I used wax paper in between yep. this and the die. Yep. Yeah. And then and it just gonna releases release it. it nicely. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. So yeah. it's just good. Yeah. I think as long as you're showing other ways of using the excess. Exactly. Of that, yeah. They don't yeah. think it's a waste. Yeah. 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 So. So if you then wanted to add, like, say you thought, actually I've not got enough glue on here. So one, if you wanted to add more colour, so if I wanted more of that on there, I yep. can just put it on there, mm -hmm. lay that back over and, and melt it down. Yep. Yep. Okay. But I'm going to do another thing now. So this is silver ultra high. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start heating it again mm -hmm. and I want to get it nice and hot again. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so I'll just move it all around. Get it going. Is it home time yet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. um, not yet. <laughs> so I can see it moving now. Yeah. yeah. Can you see it moving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when it's nice and molten, then I can just drop these in. Mm. And they just sort of spread because they're ultra high. Yeah. They sort of spread out a bit. I'm trying to find me, um, I had a cocktail stick and I would rub a cocktail stick in the um, ink pad. Oh well done, could you just rub it in that for me darling? Mm -hmm. Just throw a little bit more. And the little, you know like the, um, I don't know what they were called, the little four prong combs we used to get for our hair when we all had perms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know what you mean, that like an work. afro. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. A little tiny one yeah. of those, that yeah. would work really well. So you can just, oh, so I need to make that hotter again. And so can you see like the oh, lines? Yeah, I yeah. didn't add ultra oh, high like in that one. What's the cake where they draw the thingy through? They ice it and then draw the... The cake well. Mm -hmm. you know, the yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So although like when you draw the lines you think, oh, that looks a bit mad. But then by heating yeah, it again it spreads it back yeah. out. Yeah. 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 And it moves the colour around a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. So you can just sort of bring that. Break that through like that. Yeah. That looks nice. That's actually. lovely. A little bit of that. And then, what you were saying about sparkles. Oh, add a bit of sparkles. Well, that's just a little bit of that. What colour sparkles Ooh. do you want on there? Sparkles are in this one. Do a blue, the, the bluey, that greeny blue. So, should we go see Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, so, yeah. Yeah. same thing again. It's just exactly the same technique. We're just going to take a little pinch and then heat it. We're always heating it because yeah. we want it molten. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it's molten, it's gonna grab this, yeah? yeah so, a little sprinkling. And then I heat again and that makes it sort of go in there. Mm. And I've actually just done a video on all of these techniques for Simon Says Stamp, which oh, is brilliant. coming out in March. Okay. Oh, oh, and I will do one for us, because mm -hmm. I think I do all these things for Simon Says Stamp and I forget to do them for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's just go there. And then you could, if you... So that just looks really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. So that's yeah. nice, lovely. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. I love that bit there. Yeah. 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 And then you could, hopefully I won't ruin it now. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Get off you. Oh no. Come here, let's just do it with me now. That's it. Just get rid of that bit. I'm just going to do a little bit more sparkles, but I'm going to use my favourite. Mm -hmm. 
which is celebration. We picked that one, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I love celebration. <clears throat> it's got it's got Ooh. chunky. Oh my God. It's got gold wow. and silver. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh it's just beautiful. <laughs> it really is. That's a game changer. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as like you take well. the lid off and you go <laughs> like that, yeah. it's <laughs> Oh, I want to snap some little bubbles on it and do a seahorse and shrink it down into yeah, a plastic yeah, drink. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. This, this is like a beach one, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's why I like the oyster, because it looks like sand with it, doesn't it? Yeah. No. Just a little bit. Just where it was quite sort of blue in yeah. places. Just have a little bit of a... go more but I'll keep it sort of simplish like that yeah, sure. it's not going to burn me that's gorgeous love it very nice it's nice I think they'd like that oh yeah they? I think they would oh. so that was the first technique and with that technique you can see different samples that they did for the stand and what that one there is one of my favorites it seems like a sea because it has this marbly effect so just by combining three different colors and some shine and sparkle, you just get that. And then of course you can see all the samples that have been done with the embossing powders used in many ways. And you can also see the glitter applied normally, like with glue or, or some sort of um, sticky thing to create a card like that one with different stripes of different colors or even a rainbow. So very pretty and very shiny. And another one of those hearts. I love the technique. I need to try it. So now let's go with the second technique. And I leave you with Marion. <laughs> so basically what do you have inside then? So this is melted and embossing powder. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna get it to drop. Yeah. And then drop and drop. And you just move it along, just keep moving it around. As long as you're keeping the heat on there, yep. it keeps it molten. Okay. And because they're so tiny, they set in seconds. Oh, wow. Oh, so okay. if you get a pearl to do, that'd be two exactly. hours to dry. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And, just, and then beautiful. that's just oh. And if you don't like it, you just throw them back in and melt yep. it again. Yep. Add another colour and just remelt it. Can so see that, that's amazing because I use, I buy that. I'd buy them in packs like Yeah, that. rainbow drops they were called, weren't they? Years mm, ago. Like from Robin's like Nest. Them. So what are the products in sank? Okay, sure? so I have used I've used melted powder. Yep. Which melt it is it's incredibly fine. Wow. Really, really yeah, fine. It is, okay. Yeah. And then I think on this one, I think we used that colour. Okay, so I it's think. translucent then? Or no, this oh, one's okay. an opaque one, yeah. So you can do that in metallic as well? Absolutely, oh, yeah. that will be gorgeous. Yeah. Any <laughs> of the colours will work. Okay, good. Any of them work. I really like that technique. If you saw my previous video on YouTube, you saw me doing some enamel dots in metallic and that was absolutely gorgeous. They had this marble effect and it was great. So have a look if you want. I'll display that at the end of the video. So here are more samples that were done with the different embossing powders. Here we have the Parisa one, that one that was very nice a metallic effect between platinum and gold, etc. And some other things that they have in wool. That big jar is the melted that was used on the enamel dots. I think I'm gonna get that eventually because at, in my video I was using just ultra thick enamel, but I have the feeling that that melted may do more roundy shape um, drops. Here you can see some of those drops created with that technique that Marion shared with us before. And I just want to say that it was so much fun staying there, watching Marion explaining everything. And she's so funny and apart from that you learned so much nice stuff, so it was great. Thanks very much for watching, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video, if you did please give me a thumbs up so I know that I can do more of this style and you will enjoy it. And here are some final pictures of the different powders and glitters that they have. If you want to see them, just pause the video and that's it, okay? And I'm going to put also the link to the video that I make using that technique that Marion just showed us about the enamel dots on how to create your own. 
I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one, hopefully earlier than this one. Bye!